Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would share with you my new Amazon haul that is all pregnancy related items. It just came in today because I shipped it by a shipping cart via Sea Cargo, which takes a long time, about two months. And the reason why I chose Sea Cargo is because it gets quite pricey, especially when you have really big items like this one over here, which I'm gonna be talking about in a little bit. These are items that I ordered back in November when I was in my second month, if I'm not mistaken. I was in my second month of pregnancy and I did not know at all what I was doing or what I was ordering or what I needed for this pregnancy. And so these items are just based on what Amazon recommended me. And because I'm such an internet person and because I do not want to go out and have to buy myself all these things and search for things in store, I prefer to shop online. So that is why I bought everything on Amazon and just had it shipped all the way here. And finally it arrived just a few days after Christmas. And now I can finally unbox it and show you guys what I bought and if it is worth it or not, or what I think about it now that I am already in my second trimester. So if you guys are interested in seeing all this pregnancy related haul of sorts, then please do keep on watching. All right guys, I am a little bit sniffly right now. I still am recovering from a bad case of the colds that I got a few days ago. You guys always seem to comment that my voice changes from time to time. I think it's number one, the camera that I'm using. If I use my vlog cam, my voice seems deeper. If I use this cam, it's a whole lot different also. And now it's different again because of my nose. So that's just my debriefing for all of you who are planning to comment on my voice again. First thing that I'm gonna show you is this Burt's Bees Mama Bee Belly Butter. It is with Shea Butter and Vitamin E and I got two of these. And I've always been worried about stretch marks because my mom has massive stretch marks all over her belly. She gave birth three times. The first time she gave birth to my brother and sister, they are twins. And so her stomach was massive. And I read about all these articles online that it doesn't matter how much oils you put or how much creams you put on your stomach, it's more genetic. So if your mom has stretch marks, the chances of you getting stretch marks are so much higher. And so I decided to try out the Burt's Bees Mama Bees Belly Butter because I haven't seen this here in the Philippines. But I did also get myself a ton of different kinds of oils already locally and I've been applying it since my second month of pregnancy just because I'm so burning and I really don't wanna get stretch marks. I'm just gonna try my best to do what I can. And also my sister-in-law Stacy told me that her mom, my mother-in-law, has stretch marks and because she applied oil twice a day, she didn't get any of her own. So I feel like my chance pa ako, I have hope. This had really high reviews on Amazon and I'm gonna see for myself if it is worth it or not. All right, the next thing that I ordered are prenatals. Ta-da! I haven't gotten the go signal from my doctor to take these or not. When I was in my first trimester, I asked her if I could take prenatals and she said because I was feeling really, really nauseous, then I probably shouldn't so that the nausea wouldn't be more extreme. But this one I got from Amazon. It also had really good reviews and it was a little bit on the pricey side, but I think when I matched the price with the reviews, this one got the top mark. And it's my new chapter and is the perfect prenatal multivitamin. I think I also saw this on some mama YouTubers channel that she really liked this one. And it actually says that it eases morning sickness with ginger. You're supposed to take three of these in a day. So I'm guessing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I took my first one this morning without consulting my OBGYN, but I really hope that it's okay. I'm probably gonna ask her by the end of the month when I see her if it's okay or not. But I'm pretty sure it's okay because all the things at the back say that it's like all made of organic things like vegetables. So I'm pretty sure it's okay. It is made for pregnant women, so I'm sure it's fine and I don't have any high risk tendencies. I'm not feeling particularly bad right now. So I'm hoping that this is gonna help me because my first trimester, I've been eating nothing but carbs and unhealthy food because that's the only thing I can stomach with my nausea. And up to this day, sometimes I feel like I really don't get any nutrition in and I hope that this prenatal multivitamin can help with that. I really hope so. Get some nutrition in for the baby. All right, another thing that I got on Amazon is da -da -da -da, maternity bras. Now, I'm not sure if these are for pregnant women or for breastfeeding moms already, or both. Probably both because it has this like latch here. So it comes in three colors, right? Pink, nude, and black. Let me show you the nude so it's a little bit clearer. It has this latch here that you can detach 
I'm guessing so that oh there so that your baby can like suck on your boob without you having to take off your bra completely but the reason why I got this is because number one it also had really good reviews on Amazon and number two I can't stand wearing bras anymore these days like that's why I'm always in tops that already come with pads or I'm always in flowy tops where you don't really need to wear bras I feel like number one underwires are just so uncomfortable these days and also I'm growing out of my bra so fast when you get pregnant your boobs tend to grow I guess because they're filled with milk or whatever nutrients or mammary glands or I don't know for your baby and so none of my swimsuits fit anymore I had to buy new medium sizes I jumped from an XS to a medium and so I've also been applying a lot of oils on my boobs to prevent stretch marks on that area and now wearing bras are just plain torture so <laughs> I'm so happy that these are non-wired they are stretchy and they're like sports bra material and I'm planning to definitely wear these from now on oh they also they also come with expanders so super perfect because as my body grows these bras can grow with me I also got another kind of maternity bra because I didn't know which one was the best and when you're searching on Amazon and the reviews are all there and all these related products are there you tend to really want to just click and shop and buy especially since I wanted to accumulate my shipping and just ship it once from the Philippines so I tried my best to buy as much as I could in one go or all the things that I needed in one go and I definitely thought that I would need more than three bras so I got myself another kind of bra this one comes in a different design so it's three again so now I have six maternity bras I'm gonna show you the gray one it's kind of like a like a V design but I think it's also for breastfeeding because then you can easily just slip off and then breastfeed and then put it back on this is in a size medium. I don't know why I ordered medium. I probably thought that I would be a lot bigger. Or maybe I can use this when I'm actually like eight months, nine months pregnant. They seem a little bit too big for me now. I think I overestimated my size. But yeah, I, at least I have it handy already for when I need it. Okay, I didn't only buy bras. I also bought panties because my panties right now are also getting a little bit tight they are almost invisible now i have really small panties and now that i my stomach is growing they're they hardly cover anything anymore and so i got myself i don't know what you call them these are from intimate portal and these are also one of the things that got really high reviews on amazon so i just got this color variation over here let me show you the polka dot one so it's a little bit more fun they're very high-waisted granny panties and the top is kind of a V design so I guess if your belly grows then it can open up like this and it doesn't constrict your belly the garter is not so tight which is something that I deal with when I'm wearing my pajamas like the garter is so tight and when I wake up from my sleep then I'll see a garter on my belly a garter mark which I don't think is good for the baby so yeah these are gonna come in really handy they look super huge right now I guess I forgot to consider American sizing as opposed to Asian sizing so I'm gonna have to grow into these but yeah looking forward to comfort in the coming days okay I also have another kind of undies and this is women's underwear from Wirarpa now on Amazon they look a little bit more legit but now that they sent it to me it looks a little bit more China but that's okay um, let's see how do you open this packet comes in a ziploc -y bag and it's all nude underwear because I figure the safest color to go for is nude anyways so it comes in a pack of four let me show you this one this one I was planning to wear postpartum so I kind of got it a little bit too early yeah this is the front and it goes all the way up it's a high-waisted panty and it's cotton so most of the high-waisted panties that I have aren't cotton and I feel like cotton is the one that will prevent you from getting all these bacteria down under so this is the most breathable material and hopefully this isn't going to be too tight for my growing belly and I hope that postpartum it's going to help me suck everything back in and make recovery a lot easier okay that's the last of the underwear I don't know why I ordered so many next up I ordered some maternity leggings I only ordered one because I figured I'd only be ever using one but then for Christmas my mom gave me like blanky the blanky brand leggings which are actually really good I use it in Korea every single day 
and she got me two of those and those are really good because they provide back support as well. These ones are just regular leggings that are stretchy on the belly area. As you can see here, they have a pocket for your belly. This is from the brand called Motherhood and it is their maternity stretch leggings. So I got this in an extra small and these are also cotton as well whereas the ones that I got for Christmas for my mom aren't cotton so at least I have a comfier option for when I don't want everything to be sucked in when I just want everything to like hang loose. <laughs> okay moving on to my next purchase. This is the Asmed maternity belt and I heard that when your stomach grows bigger it can cause back pains because it's weighed down you so much and you lose your center of balance. It takes a toll on your lower back and I already have lower back problems as it is. So I ordered this because I saw on the photo on Amazon that it actually straps on your back and under your belly to help support your lower back and help support your belly when you're carrying at like six, seven months, eight months maybe. So yeah, I'm excited to use this as well. Hopefully it will be comfy. They had a ton of different options on Amazon, but I chose this one because it looked the most legit. You can't really tell when you're shopping online, you have to take risks. <laughs> so I just chose the, the better looking one. Okay, we have two left guys. This one is from Hiccup, hiccupop.com and it is a wedge pillow. Uh, uh. These need to be washed, my allergies are acting up again. But when you are pregnant, you're not allowed to sleep on your back, they say, because you can constrict the airflow or blood that goes to your baby or something like that, or like something about blood pressure. You don't wanna lie down on your back and like lie on your inferior vena cava, something like that. So you're supposed to lie on your side and sometimes it really hurts my face and my neck and everything to lie on my side. It's very comfortable because I'm used to lying on my back. And so this is a wedge that I can put at the back so that even if I'm lying on my back, it's not like completely flat. I can like lie on my back but still be at a, a slight angle and it's still very comfortable. So I feel like this is gonna be really, really useful for me. And last but not the least is, oh, I told Slater, when I get pregnant, you have to get me a maternity pillow. And I got myself one instead, oh my God. My nose, this is very dusty. Um, it is the Pharma, Pharma, Pharmadoc, Pharmadoc Pregnancy C-shaped pillow. It's a full body pillow, ta-da! So now I can finally return the one that I borrowed from my sister-in-law. And this one had really amazing reviews on Amazon as well. And so I'm so excited to use it. I feel like even if I'm all alone at night and I need to cuddle, then I can just cuddle my pillow and not feel so bad. <laughs> so dramatic, but yeah, um, definitely looking forward to using that as well. All right, guys, those are all my purchases for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you have newborn must-haves or pregnancy must-haves that I missed and I did not buy yet, please do list them in the comments down below so I can think about getting them. And please put links also so I know where to find them. Of course, I'm a newbie at this. I don't know much, so all your help would be very, very essential and welcome and thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please don't forget to ring the notification bell subscribe to my channel leave me a thumbs up comment down below and i will see you in the next one hopefully with a better nose bye guys took a l should have put it in all free lord forgive me for my sins don't know me scary thoughts i got scary thoughts lost control now i'm taking charge